green and black olives. And so today we're doing a country boil shrimp instead of metal detecting. My son's back from the Air Force. It's John John. And um, I grabbed the wrong GoPro. It didn't have a Sims card when we started. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what we do down here. Everybody does it different. My cousins in um, Hammond will watch this video and say, hell no. This is how you need to do it. But this is, this is how we do it here in Southeast Alabama. So uh, we got the water boiling. And I added lemons, oranges. We added uh, mushrooms, onions, green olives, and black olives. So we're going to get this... Uh, boiling more for about 10 minutes uh, we mixed you can see some of the sauce right there I missed um, so we're gonna let this boil for about 10 minutes and then we're going to put the uh, potatoes in everybody can use different ingredients this is what we like down here so now we're fixing to add the potatoes and um, hold that son so I use everybody uses different potatoes but I use these small ones Cause it doesn't take as long it doesn't uh take up a lot of room you can add a lot of other ingredients so typically with a regular big potato it takes about 15 minutes i leave these in here about 10 minutes and then um after that we'll add our corn hot flashes back on you um but yeah we'll let these babies uh sit in here about 10 minutes and then we'll add our corn and then after that, we'll add our sausage. All right, well, it's been uh, 10 minutes, and we're going to go ahead and add the corn. And I like to add my sausage at the same time. But I do it a little bit different as far as sausage. It's just frozen corn. It doesn't really make a difference. Some people use fresh. Don't really care because. By the time this is done, it's going to have all the flavor soaked in it. Did I get you something? <laughs> yes. Alright, so let me put the rest of this corn in here and I'll show y'all. I used to use uh, Kadeka sausage from down here in Alabama. Fix your, hit that phone for me. And there's the sausage yep so what i like to use instead of uh cutting sausage up like i used to we just put this in here these little smokies we use beef and we use uh sausage uh pork i mean it works a lot better to me i uh, discovered it by accident and um started doing it anybody got a knife on them because i can't bloody open it oh here we go boom all right so we're going to add these little smokies in here all right, let me get the other pack. It still holds the uh, seasoning real good. So we're gonna let that uh, get to boiling and then we're gonna let it boil for about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna add the uh, shrimp to it. So if we're stuttering a little bit while we uh, making this shrimp boil, y'all know why. Okay, well, we're uh, we we're about to add the shrimp. Like I said, we're down here in southeast Alabama, and uh, we're not far from Panama City Beach. And uh, I know a couple skippers, they give us fresh shrimp, and we're fixing to add it here. Hold that, son. Shout out to Baby Cakes. And you really only want to let this uh, boil for about three minutes because you don't want them to be like rubber so when that starts boiling we'll uh count it down to three minutes so, uh, as soon as that's done we'll show you the spread this is your first time doing this sausage yeah all right so the shrimp are done hold that son let's take a look at them Ooh, look at that folks that's some good looking shrimp right there. Been three minutes. Yep, so we're gonna cut the heat off. That's the uh so we're fixing to pour them on the table. Get them out of this heat, throw some ice on them, because if you let them cook too long, they're gonna taste like rubber. 
All right, well, here's the end product. Got them good shrimp, good mushrooms. Mm. That's what's up right there. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, everybody does it different, but I just figured we'd post a little video because we do this quite a bit.